What's up, y'all? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another review. This is the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Sky Stalker review. And why does it keep going dark like that? Any Anyways, I don't know if it's from my point of view, and then from... The screen keeps going dark when I keep... It's like after 20 seconds, it'll go darker on me. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna just keep filming it. Alright, anyway, so this is the Sky Stalker review. He goes with Mind Wipe, and however, I had Mind Wipe, but I returned him to the store in 2008 or 7 or whenever. Or no, it was 9. 2009, I returned him to the store because I wanted Soundwave. Stupid idiot. He attaches on top of Mind Wipe. I may, f you know, search for a Mind Wipe. He attaches on top of him, and he's like a drone that comes off of him and drones around. And uh, he's got this flip down landing gear. You can see it right here. You can flip it down. And you can roll along. So very cool. Really cool figure. Um, yeah. He's got some, he's got like a kind of a dark, dark green for his color. It's like a black, but in the light, it's kind of dark, dark green. It's like a black, dark, dark green or something. He's got his face, uh, his eye optic there, speaking through the front there. And he's a drone. And his, his, his uh, wheel in the front rolls. And he's got two pegs in the back. See? So he doesn't really have wheels in the back. But if you roll him along, he rolls smoothly. He's got a couple weapons that pop, that punch out. You just pop them out like this. They're underneath. He's that kind of thing here with this peg and three millimeter clip those are his weapons you can see part of it with the silver there painted so you just pop it out it's not simple it's not super simple but it's not super hard pops out like that and then you just fit it in the like a jigsaw puzzle and pop it back in if you want it back in all right so we pop those out on both sides that's his weapons just like that We'll put those up to the side for now. Alright, so then we want to, to come under here and flip down his landing gear. He has flip down landing gear. And he'll fly. You know, he has some missing wing parts, but he'll still fly. Then we just want to kind of loosen up these parts that will tab in. Um, they slot in. Basically, uh, there's a slot right there, and it'll slot right in just like that. See what I'm saying? That's how you get them back into wing mode. And you just want to loosen those up like that. And then you revert these legs down. They have like the knees are on the side, so it's just like that. And then you just take the back of the feet and you flip down his feet. And he's got these those weird like mega you know, remember uh movie one Megatron, how he had those feet that flipped down and you could it would work if you set him on him. So he has that. And you can kind of get a Garowak if you wanted, you know. You can kind of. I mean, you can. No kind of about it. Okay? So that's that. Then you want to take the wings, and they'll. There's a clip on spot right there. There's a peg, and there's a slide in tab. That's how you would tab it back on. Like that. And just take those off like this. Alright, so then next you want to do is you want to flip down the nose cone, just like that, and then his head will appear, you pull it up, it's on this chicken-like joint. Uh, I just call it a chicken because all the, re the Gundam reviewers used to call it that. But before you get it all the way down, you want to pull up his arms, they're on this hinge, and you adjust the ball joint accordingly, and you pop it all the way up into place. So you pull it. Make sure this is up a little bit, and then you slide it up, and you lock that into place, swivel the ball joint up, then we want to clip his landing gear down, and then fit everything else down like that. We'll put his arms down, then you revert his wings around, so he has kind of like bat-like wings, let me revert the camera a little bit up, and... Flip his hands into position. 
And there's Sky Stalker. So he's pretty cool. He's definitely something else. He's got some cool purple. Purple up here. It's like a it's like a lavender. Eh, I don't know what you call it. Lavenderish purple. And then you clip that in. You hear, hear that clip? That will secure that better. So he's got some posability. He can swivel his head back and forth. And it will also tilt. And he can look down, way down. And he can look way up. So he's got great neck posability. He's got ball jointed hips and thigh swivel. He's got that sideways on, he's got that knee on the side, I guess that's what you call it. And what you want to do is you want to crook it back like that. That's how he stands good. He's got these feet. I don't know if you call that articulation because, I mean, it is, but it, it, you got to kind of have to stand it there. He's got the ball joint so he can pull his arms up way up on the side like that. Front to back, no problem. He's got the ball jointed elbow, so he's got the swivel built in. He's got a hand in there. And then he's got this on a, on a joint, so it's on a swivel hinge. And it's on a ball joint. So it's ball jointed here. The ball joint is on a hinge. And it's got a hinge above it. So you can get all kinds of posability for this figure. Alright, well, so let's get them all posed up. And then you take his weapons. And he's got a couple clip-on spots in the, in the inside of his elbows. I, remember, I can't remember which side. I guess you would do it this side. Flip that like that. And you clip this one on this side. But, you know, you get the idea. You can mess around with it to your own liking, but... It's supposed to... Oh, it's because the elbow wasn't in right. So, like that. He's got a couple hooks. Basically, that's the figure. So, you can you can put the wings out if you want. Wings down. Keep it as a cape. And he was really cool with Mind Wipe. So, I will try to locate Mind Wipe one of these days. Um, give you a little size comparison. This is him with Blur. Blur is a really cool figure. I just opened Blur, and I honestly think he's the best figure of 2016 so far, from Hasbro at least. And he rolls cool. He has a little wobbly action, so he looks like he's hovering. And he's got a really cool weapon. So, Blur is awesome. But he's for another video. I have uh, Takara Blur coming, and I will be doing a comparison review. Alright, so to transform this guy back, let's just do it real quickly. We just take off the, the weapons. Alright. You want to get everything back in place. So, what you do is you pull the head down, and then you pull it back, and then you flip it up inside. Be careful, because there's paint. You want to feed it up in there, so the head is up like that. Then you would take the... The, oops, then you would take the um, nose cone and get it close to the place. But before you do that, you got to drop the shoulders, pull, untab the, uh, hold on, untab the um, landing gear. So you drop the shoulders on that hinge I showed you, and let me show you a better idea. Okay, so see that, that how it formed in there like this? It's got to be like that. It fits right like that. So. Let's do that one more time. So we drop the shoulder on that hinge and you fit it like that. You spin the arms so the 808s are like this and we want to tab them together so it marries it up and creates the back of the plane. Then you want to take that tabbing slot, that there's a tabbing slot in the tab and you want to secure the wings into place on both sides. Alright, just like that. Next you want to revert the knees up and you flip the well first you're gonna flip the feet in just like that. Oops, well, that can happen, but they, they go on no problem and they stay on good. And you flip up the legs like this, and then they're gonna fit in here like this, and you wanna slot them in like I showed you earlier, which I'll show you again. There's a slot 
right there in a, in a tabbing situation. See it slots right in there, that L tab. Just like that, and just like that. Okay. Basically got them all together. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to pull up the nose cone, pop it into place, and oops, and then pull up his landing gear all the way so he can ride. Then you take the wing or take the weapons and you fit them in place. So this one goes right here probably. Hold on. This one goes right here. Just like that. And this one goes right here. And we just slot everything together and make it nice and tablicious. We got Sky Stalker back in his drone mode. Alright, let me know what you think of the review. Let me know if you want to see any more Revenge of the Fallen reviews. I had, to, I had no instructions for this figure. I just found him and he was in robot mode. I had to put him into plane mode. It wasn't hard, but, you know, it's a Revenge of the Fallen. Imagine doing it with uh, a leader of Voyager class without instructions. <laughs> Not as much fun, but doable if you're, you know, a Transformer fan like us. All right, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you on the flip. That's a wrap. Peace.